After more than a decade of development, Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin is still running into technical problems with its engine. One of Blue Origin's powerful BE-4 rocket engines suffered a dramatic failure during testing last month. This is not only a destructive setback for Blue Origin, but also a major hurdle for ULA's Vulcan launch vehicle. Let's take a closer examination of this situation in today's episode of Great SpaceX. According to CNBC, during a firing on June 30th at a West Texas facility on Jeff Bezos' space company grounds, a BE-4 engine detonated about 10 seconds into the test. This dramatic explosion destroyed the engine and heavily damaged the test stand infrastructure. CNBC said the engine was meant to be used for the second launch of United Launch Alliance's next-generation Vulcan rocket. That launch, known as CERT-2, is meant to send Sierra Space's Dream Chaser space plane on an uncrewed cargo delivery mission to the International Space Station. A Blue Origin spokesperson also confirmed the company ran into an issue while testing Vulcan's Flight Engine 3. No personnel were injured and we are currently assessing root cause, Blue Origin said, adding we already proximate cause and are working on remedial actions. Blue Origin also said it will be able to continue testing engines in West Texas. The company previously built two stands for the tests. We will be able to meet our engine delivery commitment this year and stay ahead of our customers' launch needs, they added. The explosion comes several months after a new Shepard rocket failure was ultimately pinned on a bad engine nozzle. Meanwhile, ULA has had its own share of trouble. A rocket's upper stage exploded in March, prompting an investigation and fixes that include thicker steel walls on the stage. Despite Blue Origin's comforting words, much of the setback is affecting Blue Origin's production levels, so it's not good news for a company whose business Business revolves around engines. Most importantly, BE-4's test failure threatens to further push back the already delayed first Vulcan launch, which was already rescheduled to the fourth quarter of this year, while Blue Origin examines the cause of the problem. ULA eagerly awaited the delivery of the first set of BE-4 engines, as each Vulcan rocket relies on this pair for its launch. Recently, ULA achieved a significant milestone called CERT-1 in their preparations for the inaugural Vulcan launch. They conducted a brief static fire test of the rocket utilizing the initial pair of BE-4 flight engines. In a statement to CNBC, a ULA spokesperson reassured that the testing issue with the BE-4 engines would not affect their plans for the Vulcan CERT-1 mission. The spokesperson emphasized that the engines intended for CERT-1 had successfully undergone acceptance testing and were qualified for launch. The CERT mission name denotes ULA's requirement to accomplish two successful Vulcan launches, which would lead to the U.S. Space Force certifying the rocket for operational flights. With ULA planning to retire their existing operational rockets, namely Atlas V and Delta IV Heavy, the certification of Vulcan is crucial for the prompt commencement of national security missions. Under the National Security Space Launch Phase II program, SpaceX and ULA were assigned six missions each by the Space Force last month. ULA's entire allotment of NSSL missions, totaling six, is scheduled to be carried out using the Vulcan rocket. Furthermore, ULA is actively preparing to compete for Phase three contracts in the NSSL program, as the Space Force encourages increased competition among providers. The recent incident involving Blue Origin's BE-4 engine comes after ULA faced its own test explosion investigation, which lasted three months. In March, the upper stage of the rocket experienced an explosion during a structural test, prompting ULA to partially disassemble the first Vulcan rocket. The purpose was to reinforce the already installed upper stage. ULA LA concluded that rectifying the issue would be relatively straightforward. Currently, they are conducting tests to determine whether adjusting the thickness of the upper stage's steel walls will provide a satisfactory solution. These tests are crucial to ensure that the improved version can be successfully reinstalled by the company. While Blue Origin is working to ensure the successful operation and production of the BE-4 engines for its primary customer, it is also facing the challenge of needing those engines for its own new Glenn rocket, currently in development. Blue Origin's BE-4 engine is a critical component 
alignment of both the Vulcan and New Glenn rockets. The Vulcan rocket uses two BE-4 engines while the New Glenn rocket uses seven. This means that Blue Origin must manufacture dozens of these engines annually to support the demands of both rockets. Both Vulcan and New Glenn have secured contracts to launch satellites for Amazon, another company founded by Jeff Bezos. The substantial commercial launch agreement includes 38 Vulcan launches and a potential 27 New Glenn launches to deploy Amazon's Project Kuiper internet satellites over the next few years. Furthermore, Blue Origin intends to use New Glenn to transport the lunar lander it is developing as part of a $3.4 billion NASA contract. The BE-4 engine has been in development for several years and has faced some challenges leading to delays. However, the company recently completed the first flight-ready engines. Similarly, the inaugural flight of New Glenn, originally scheduled for 2020, has also faced delays. Blue Origin's leadership has declined to provide a new target date for the first launch of New Glenn. To bolster its production capabilities, Blue Origin established a significant engine manufacturing facility in Huntsville, Alabama in 2020. The company has also expanded its facilities in the area to encompass approximately 1 million square feet. Additionally, NASA leased engine test stands at the Marshall Space Flight Center to Blue Origin. While the smaller BE-7 lunar lander engine undergoes testing there, Blue Origin is refurbishing a larger NASA stand in its Texas testing facility for BE-4 engine testing. But what's even more astounding is that the company is in the early stages of eyeing up a launch site outside of the United States, CEO Bob Smith said earlier this month. Europe could be a fertile ground for Blue Origin. The continent faces constricting launch availability due to the imminent retirement of the Ariane 5 rocket. This leaves just two rockets available for launch from Europe, Ariane 6, which has yet to fly, and Vega C. Europe's launch situation was made more desperate by the spectacular implosion of Virgin Orbit earlier this year. While there are numerous European launch startups vying to fill this gap, none have yet to fly a rocket. However, multiple European countries have poured capital into building sites from which to launch rockets. This could create favorable opportunities for Blue Origin, such as a large pool of potential space tourist customers and government incentives. Countries in the Middle East also have made great strides to advance their space programs. These countries could also present favorable conditions for Blue Origin. Acquisitions could also help propel Blue Origin to success as the company Companies' programs continue to expand beyond the launch vehicles. A major short-term benefit of European expansion would be a qualified workforce. Countries like Poland, Lithuania, and Ukraine offer space-trained workforce at a fraction of their cost in the United States. However, Blue Origin still needs to strengthen its technique before expansion. If not, it could face dire consequences. Well, folks, that wraps up our show for today. We hope you enjoyed learning more about what's going on with Blue Origin. If you want to support our channel and get access to exclusive content, please consider becoming a patron by clicking the link in the description below. We appreciate your generosity and your passion for space exploration. As always, this is Kevin from Great SpaceX, and until next time, keep looking up.